everyone. My name is Josh. Welcome to the Coleman Farms, Nevada, or also known as CF Nevada uh, YouTube channel. We are starting out with our very first cab over. It's a 362 Peterbilt 1985. Uh, it's got a Detroit series motor in it. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take a look at it. Do a quick walk around inside in the cab. We have our latches for our side doors, which that's not easy trying to open that with the camera in your hand. I if I got a screwdriver right here. Oh. Do it with the key. Try to pop it open, see what we got inside here. at it there we go all right so comes with an extinguisher that is definitely not ready to work and got our triangles got our window washer fluid that's empty but nothing else on this side good little compartment for all your tools Taking a walk around. It does have dual tanks. We have our uh, steps to get up on to our plate here. Does have aluminum rims all the way around. We already got the COZAD ramps set up and it's on an air ride. Our Detroit motor now it does have a set of stacks on here already dual stacks uh, it did come with a couple set or a set of uh, straight pipes that I will be putting on Let's see what we got on the other side here we gotta get the key again Not as easy to get in and out of here without the uh, handles on. There we go. What does our other side come with? Oh, some uh, Union Carbide Miner's Lamp. Little pan. Not sure what that bracket was for. Dello 400, 1540. Got some belts. Extra belts. Filters. Some more belts. A lot of extra belts. Definitely don't want to be caught without those. But. This truck was originally white and it has a brown interior and paint, but I'm going to be changing the exterior paint. I'll probably leave the brown, but change the leather out to a black. It does have a nice big old bumper with a whole bunch of big lights. Which I'm not a fan of. Missing the grill, but looking for one of those online right now. Um, and then probably gonna be switching out the bumper to something else because being that we're gonna be using it for our equipment hauling, I'd like to have something that connects to our um, front hook. Um, did come with a new set of batteries and gonna need some new tires. One, this is out of DOT and got a big slash on the side, so I'm going to need to be replacing that. But starting off, we're going to be getting it ready for paint. Then eventually painting the, uh, or changing out the stacks and getting some new tires on here and just kind of going through 
servicing it and getting it all ready to go. But let's go ahead and take a look inside. Cab are already not easy to climb in and out of. It's even harder when you don't have all the handles on the sides. But so far the gauges and dash, everything looks pretty good. It does have a PTO already hooked up to it. I did test that out. It does work, but there is no hydraulic tank and lines to go back to the trailer, so need to get that. <coughs> Excuse me. Need to get that set up. Um, let's see what else did he say we got got a Jake's on there we got an air sliding fifth wheel um, we also can drop our airbags in the rear um, it does have a 13 speed Eaton Fuller transmission definitely gonna need some new seats I think that one's had its fair share of use gonna need a new mattress and interior radio cb new headliners it all needs some work definitely gonna need some new speakers windshield definitely uh, has to be replaced got some cracks in there but uh owner said that they are already stripped it and getting it ready for paint and so all the pieces and parts that they took off from handles and uh, lights and mirrors should be back here in the box. So shouldn't have to worry about that as long as it's all there. Hopefully no missing nuts and bolts. You know how that goes. Probably going to be missing a few. But all in all, it's in pretty decent shape for an 85. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, start her up and see how she sounds. Oh, funny story. When I first got it, loaded on the trailer, I had uh, threw the key in and started all that was just fine. But I was a little worried that the doors might fly open driving down the road. So pulled the key out. Stuck it in the door before I locked it and closed it. I was just wanting to make sure that the key worked to the door and I didn't close it, turned it, and uh, it snapped off in the door right away. So the key was not good, but luckily I was able to pull it right back out. So then I actually still have the pieces right here, but I was able to take that down to a locksmith. They were able to recut me a key. I got a couple made, so I'll have spares now. But yeah, that was a lesson learned. Make sure you go make extra keys before you try to test anything out. But I was just trying to be safe driving down the road and not have my doors fly open on me and just lock it for extra safety. But apparently that didn't matter, so. Fan works, AC works, seems to be blowing pretty cold. Go ahead and make sure the neutral and see what we got. Starts right up. Take a look. Starts right up, sounds pretty good when it's warm. The other day when I started up, a little cold, 
took a couple tries, but once she warms up, it starts up really nice. All right, everybody, I think that's going to finish up today's video. Thanks for watching. Continue to like, subscribe to CF Nevada's page. We got a lot more coming. Low boy trailer, step deck trailer. There's also my other Peterbilt to go discuss. And we got some other trucks coming our way. But uh, for now, going to keep working on this truck. Going to get uh, it ready for paint. Got to prime it and uh, go ahead and pick out my colors uh, also going to order up some parts for it need a grill new bumper and uh, get some service stuff like filters and fluids changed out on it because no idea when the last time this was ever changed but thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one